think that America's finally realizing that for eight years we were just spoiled with Barack Obama. That's what happened, and uh, that's why, like the last couple months, he's been walking around with that smile where he's like, Haha, "Fuck you guys." <laughs> 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 you did this to yourself. <laughs> it was like for eight years, America was just driving a brand new Ferrari. You know, we didn't care. We're like, yeah, we're with the Ferrari. And then when we had to choose between Hillary and Trump, it was like choosing between a 2007 Toyota Yaris and an unmarked white man that's on fire. <laughs> and half the country was like, yeah, but at least with, fu with fire, there's change, okay? <laughs> at least with fire, there's something new. Says something about Trump. Do you guys know, like, do you guys remember when you were a kid when you used to make that fart sound with your hands? <laughs> you make that really loud fart sound? Yeah, you can do it now if you want to. It's awesome. It's liberating. Go ahead and do it. Like, keep, just keep doing it. And then as you're doing it, just remember that that sound is president now. So, uh, so just remember that is who's running everything. So, just put that guy in charge. Little Crown Heights is great. You guys have never been to Crown Heights. Uh, picture the country of Israel inside of Jamaica, okay? <laughs> They're like, hey, if you like Schindler's List, you're gonna love Cool Runnings, okay? You, love it. <laughs> you see some fucked up things in Crown Heights, some weird stuff, guys. I saw a Jamaican dude see two Hasidic Jews and refer to them as the Blues Brothers, so. <laughs> I live with three girls in Crown Heights, not a cult leader, and, and uh, it's good, man. I used to live with four guys in college, don't do that, it was pretty gross. Uh, my roommates were cool, you got me. Uh, my roommates were cool, though. One of my roommates was gay, wouldn't come out of the closet, which is cool. But I learned this very important lesson, guys. Here's the lesson. Uh, if your friend ever wants to go to the gay bar as a joke, they're not joking, okay? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, I tell people I live with three girls now and they freak out at me, man. They freak out. They're like, oh, you live with three girls, man? It must suck living with three girls. It must suck living with three girls. And I'm like, you're right. It sucks having a clean apartment. <laughs> and a safe place for my emotions, okay? Because <laughs> it was fun living with four guys and getting called a fag whenever I asked what the weather was like, okay? <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, is it rain outside? They're like, yeah, it's raining dicks because you're gay. <laughs> That's why I always wear cardigans. I can't, uh, can't, I can't give emotions. Now things are good, man. I'll leave you guys on this. Things are going good with me. I actually made a big decision in my life recently. I decided to stop looking at my ex-girlfriend's photos on Facebook. Yes. Uh, from outside her window. Okay, so. I had to do it, guys. Uh, Cause every picture she takes on, she's always on top of a mountain. Okay. My ex. That's right. My ex girlfriend's on a mountain, on a beach, on a rooftop, and now with Instagram, she's always glowing. Everyone on Instagram looks like they just got a star in Super Mario Brothers. Okay. <laughs> Skipping levels, knocking shit over. I've also decided this, guys. I think that women post pictures on Facebook just so they can tell each other how good they look in those pictures. <laughs> Anytime a woman posts a picture on Facebook, immediately, all of her best girlfriends are like, Shut the fuck up, you're so beautiful. <laughs> fuck you, stop it. Double what the last girl said. You're amazing, you're stunning, get out of here. You know, hallway, shut up, I love you. <laughs> what are you wearing a dress? God, you're insane. I fucking love you. I hate you. You're beautiful. Exclamation point. I'm like, I can't take this. <laughs> I love you. Uh, imagine for a second I was to do that with any of my guy friends. <laughs> Dan, get out of here, you're incredible. <laughs> what are you wearing, Dan? Cargo pants? Yeah, you are. <laughs> are you covered in puke, Dan? Stunning, Dan. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. Women support each other on Facebook. Woman posts a picture on Facebook. Facebook. It gets like 57 likes, 4 shares. I posted a picture on Facebook and my buddy just wrote, no, underneath it. <laughs> no. Uh, worst part of that story, that got more likes than my picture, so. Thank you guys, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Chris, Gibbons, Lance Reese.